Senate Democrat Joe Manchin just announced that all elements of President Biden's massive spending bill must go through the committee process. This is big news, everyone. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is also now saying that the Build Back Better plan will improve for Americans. Friends, remember that I'm here every single day as your daily advocate. I am 100% committed to helping support everyone in this community, including all seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries. Please make sure to share this video on social media and also with your friends and family if they need more honest, stimulus news. And if you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please stay tuned until the end of this video. Thank you so much, friends. Senator spent last week in our home states we got to hear first-hand updates about the real issues facing real families that we all represent. I was especially glad to return to Western Kentucky to keep working on our recovery from the catastrophic tornadoes that hammered our state in mid-December. Kentuckians are tough, they're resilient, but many are still reeling from the impact of these storms. They've lost homes, businesses, even loved ones. I spent last week meeting with local leaders, small business owners, and Kentuckians in the hardest hit areas. We talked about our work here in Washington and the help they can expect to receive from us. Kentuckians in the affected areas have been grateful for the quick and efficient way that FEMA has begun distributing recovery aid. We know recovery will be a very- So friends, we have some breaking news to go over in this video about Senate Democrat Joe Manchin. As of today, Senator Manchin said that elements from the Democrat social spending and climate package must go through the committee process. And that's if the Democratic Party wants to pass relief provisions from the bill. Joe Manchin's statement today is a sign that negotiations are moving forward on Biden's Build Back Better bill, which is really great news, friends, for everyone who is waiting to receive more financial assistance. When asked by Jake Tapper on CNN State of the Union if the Build Back Better, which is the name of President Biden's roughly $2 trillion spending package, will pass soon, Joe Manchin responded by saying, that many elements from the stimulus relief package could be signed into law this year. But friends, there is one important thing to note is that Joe Manchin did say that he would like Democrats to think about Republican support on the bill. Manchin told CNN News that those initiatives must be considered by members of both parties. He also stated, I think the president said there might be certain parts and this and that. We will continue to move forward. And also during his CNN interview, Senator Manchin signaled to his GOP counterpart, Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski, by emphasizing that she would have the opportunity to weigh in on the legislation. Manchin said, whether Lisa votes for it or not, being a Republican, she should have at least the opportunity to have input. It should have gone through the committee. These are major changes. It is going to change society as we know it. And those changes, there should be a hearing. Senator Murkowski chimed in, noting that the two centrist senators could work on energy and climate if we went through the committee. They both sit on the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee. So friends, do you think that our Democratic lawmakers should try to gain support from Republicans on Biden's social spending bill. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Manchin's comments come as Democrats work to pass parts of their social spending and climate package. President Biden last month said, it is likely that they're going to have to probably break up the bill up into sections. Then Speaker Nancy Pelosi also made a recent announcement. Pelosi said that Democrats may need to rebrand and change a spending package 
telling reporters what the president calls chunks, I would hope would be a major bill going forward. But it is still significant. Friends, the key word for this video is cabbage. If you're interested in entering next Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. Also comment below this keyword and any other keyword from any video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. House Democrats are now also pushing for action on the climate, health, and education provisions in the package, emphasizing that the longer the party takes to act, the more difficult it will be to pass such provisions. So right now, it is a Democrat's top priority to get the bill passed as soon as possible. It's likely that we will see the bill passed in the House of Representatives as soon as this month. President Biden's current framework for the Build Back Better bill includes $400 billion for child care and preschool through programs funded for six years. In addition to that, expanding access to universal preschool for all three and four-year-olds. The plan also limits child care costs for some families to no more than 7% of their income. Parents must adhere to work requirements to qualify for it. This heavily debated provision would expand Medicare to cover hearing services, but the framework eliminated a proposal for Medicare to also include dental and vision benefits, which was a key priority for Senator Bernie Sanders. But Joe Manchin believes that the program's solvency should be addressed before it is expanded. The Democrats expanded the child tax credit for 2021 in their $1.9 trillion relief plan and they wanted to extend it through the year 2025. But President Biden's updated framework extends a child tax credit for one more year until the end of 2022, which the White House said will provide more than 35 million U.S. households up to $3,600 in tax cuts per child. Do you think that the expanded monthly child tax credit payments should or should not remain in the bill? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, good friends, you've come to the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who has joined me here again today. I greatly appreciate all of you for watching my videos. To say thank you, I give away Walmart gift cards every Friday. And if you would like to enter the giveaway, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel Click and like my videos. Comment below each keyword from each video of mine that you watch. And please do me a big favor and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much, friends, and have a very blessed Sunday.